Hey, it's James here from E Bass Guitar. And if you love Jack Bruce, in today's bass guitar lesson, I'm gonna be taking apart the legendary bass line from White Room by Cream. If that sounds good, make sure you check out this lesson all the way to the end. Hey guys, it's James here from E Bass Guitar, and in today's bass guitar lesson, I'm gonna be taking apart the legendary bass line from White Room by Cream. This was one of my earliest influences because it's played by the incredible Jack Bruce. And what I'm gonna do in this lesson is show you how to strip this song into three basic sections. So before we jump into the lesson, there is a completely free PDF which shows you these three sections. All you need to do is click the link below to get the full tab and standard notation which comes with this lesson. So let's break White Room down into three sections. I'm gonna call this the introduction, the verse, and the bridge. So first of all, let's look at the introduction. I'm gonna play this for you now so you know what it sounds like. So the introduction to White Room actually only contains five notes, but there's something super interesting rhythmically that many, many people miss. This is actually in the time signature of 5-4. I'm going to show you what that means in just a second. But the four notes that we need to play the first four bars are a G for five beats, an F for five beats, a D for five beats, and a C for five beats. And then that pattern repeats again. So D, oh sorry, G, F, D, C. And then on the last bar, we change time signature to four, four, and then we hit an A bang on the first beat of the bar. So what do I mean by five, four? Most of the songs that we play in popular music are in the time signature of four, four, which means four beats per bar. But in this introduction, to make it that little bit more dramatic, they've added an extra beat in the bar. So it sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, etc. And how that is really dictated is by the drum. So if you listen to that drum pattern, it'll give you the rhythm. It's very, very musical, this 5-4. So really do check it out and listen to it and count it out. So this is what the introduction sounds like in context. So let's talk about the verse. We're back in the time signature of 4-4 four, four, to keep things super easy. The verse is 16 bars long and it contains a four bar chord sequence which is repeated four times. So let's talk about that sequence now because there's a really interesting little thing that I wanna bring your attention to. So the first two bars of it start on a D minor for two beats and then to a C for two beats and then to a G for two beats to a B flat, to a C, to a D. So let me play you that in time. So one, two, three, four. Like that. And the last two beats, or chords rather, are just a beat each. So let's take that apart. And there's something really interesting in here which happens when you hit the G chord. So if we spell out a G chord, a standard G triad is a G. B and a D. And what Jack Bruce has chosen to do here is play what's called an alternate root, or you might hear it called a slash chord, and he's put the B in the bass. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the G out and insert the B instead, so you end up with this effect. So one, two, three, bar. So 
So alternate routes are a really nice little device that you'll see used time and time again in bass lines. Now let's talk about the last two bars of the four bar chord sequence. Now the chords are, we go back to the D again for two bars and then to the F and then to the G to B flat, C. Let's go through that again. D minor, F, G, B flat, C, D, like this. Now on the first part of this bass line, Jack Bruce plays largely on the beat like this. In the second half, he chooses to put a little bit of movement in. So I'm gonna show you the bass line that he plays here. So one, two, three, four. Bum, 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 like that. So let's take that apart very slowly. So this is a D for a beat and a half. So one, two, and what he chooses to do is what I would call a chromatic approach note to the F. He lands on an E below, so bum, bum, bum. And then what he does is he goes back to the E and then to the F again, so bum, 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 bum. And then to a F sharp to bridge into the G chord. So to play that line together, it's bum, And then to get to the B flat, he uses just a little scale. Bum, 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 bum. Now the ideas he used his here are super connected to the world of walking bass. So if you've seen the essential walking bass course over at eBass Guitar, you can see how these ideas really link together and how walking bass can help you play virtually any style of music. So let's play those four bars together so you can hear how they sound. One, two, one, two, three, four. So as you can hear, that is a beautifully constructed bass line. The first two bars are completely on the beat, and then there is much more movement in bars three and four, which gives the light and the shade between the bars one and two and three and four. So let's play the whole of the verse through. But what I want you to do is listen when we get into the second half, so like bars nine to 16. There's a very clever little line that Jack Bruce puts in both times, which I'm gonna play, but if you wanna check that out, Make sure you check out the free PDF which comes with this lesson where that is going to be written out in standard notation and tab so you can learn to play that line too. So if you're enjoying today's lesson, make sure you check out the Bass Lab Plus over at ebassguitar.com. The Bass Lab Plus is a full step-by-step -step syllabus designed for the beginner to intermediate bass player. So if you're looking just to rock out to YouTube at home or join the local worship team or go and rock out at a blues jam session, you have all of the materials you'll need there to play your favorite songs. Every month we do a song analysis workshop where we take a song just like this apart and dig really deep into it for now. You can also get all of the backing tracks we're using today over in the Bass Vault. So make sure you check out the Bass Lab Plus by going to ebassguitar.com. So to wrap up this lesson, we are going to take a look at the bridge section. So we've gone from this idea of And then we're going to effectively change key and go into C and things are going to get a little bit simpler and then gradually build. And what Jack Bruce chooses to do is play a very simple rock feel to begin with. So let me talk you through that. It starts on a C chord and then goes to a G like this, then up to a B flat, one, to an A. And then at the end of the four bars, he does this lovely little fill. So let me just talk you through those four bars again. One, two, three, bars. C, bum, bum, 
standard little rock feel here, like this. And what he does is he goes to an F sharp there, E, C sharp, A, bum, bum, like that. It's a beautiful little fill he does. And then we're back to the C, and he starts to gather pace through that section, which sounds like bum, gagada, bum, 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 bum. So what he is doing there is the same chord sequence again. So it is a C to a G to a B flat. Then rather than an A here, he hits a C and then we hit a D at the end. But what he's doing is he's gradually adding rhythmic intensity. So it's basically this rock fill again, bum, ba, 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 with an extra note on the end. And then the same thing again, bum, ba, ba, ba. and then we're going to have a note to link us up to the B flat, bum, ba, ba, ba. A, B flat like that. And then he uses a little chromatic run from the open A to hit the C. So it's dum, dum, ba, da, da, C. And then we have this rhythmic phrase here, which is da, da, ba, da, da, ba, bum. Often it's easier just to sing these things and play the rhythm da, da, ba, da, da, ba, bum with a stop on beat one of the next bar. So let me play you by myself the whole of that bass line through and then I'll do it with the track so you know what it sounds like. So one, two, three, bar. So don't forget that complete bass line is written out in standard notation in tab. Just click the link below to grab the free PDF that comes with this lesson. This is what it sounds like with the backing track. Guys, that is the end of today's bass guitar lesson. If you've enjoyed this lesson, please do give it a like and share on social. If you want to learn more songs just like this, make sure you check out the Bass Lab Plus over at eBass Guitar. And don't forget to click the link below to grab the free PDF that goes with the lesson. Cheers, I've been James from eBass Guitar, and I'll catch you next time.